Venera said her father's hunting camp should be near here. The hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. A jar of oil knocked over. Blood. Let's see where this leads. Strider. And a lot of traps. I must be Garoka. I better help him. An outland. Let's see what you've got. Fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Fenira asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come, we have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest that are about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Gala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Ambush! Clan is found it! What? No, not them. Stalkers! I was so sure they were... Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Quiet now. We're almost there. J-Squad! We're... What? No! An old memorial. For fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? 
I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been... 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. Or you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Skoroka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No. Everything is... a fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it, lost, my blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just... alone in the forest. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol. About to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal, made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. I should scan the memorial with my focus. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavenger. On your lead. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. No 
a marker here. I gotta check another scrap pile. Got the marker. Now to give this back to Galoka. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plain song. Next.
Nice of you to join me. Thought you could use the backup. Thank you for the assistance. Let's have a word. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Cora will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. Oh, it sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. There's our long leg. And the Utaru fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. We're in trouble. Now we salvage the part we came for. Care to show me our prize, Huntress?
Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers fell by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Plain song. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long like throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide cavity. That piece should fit right in. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. <laughs> 